Hello, I'm Fontani, the Scar Ghost. Thanks to my friend and ergonomic expert, Rob Cole, I discovered that now the Vive hand striking SDK works with a Vive Focus Plus. So you may wonder why is it so interesting? Well, the first reason is that HTC, when I visited them two years ago, told me that the hand striking SDK could be available um, in full hand striking, so not only gesture striking, only for PC. So no, there's no possible in a current Vive Focus Plus. So it's interesting that they found a way to make it work on the Vive Focus Plus. But the most important reason why it is important is that um, HTC is going to launch a new headset. We, we all know it. And it will be most probably an enterprise standalone headset. And this means if there is an SDK for hand striking for Vive Wave or standalone Vive, it means that the new headset will have uh, full working uh, hand striking, like the Oculus Quest 2, for instance. So it's interesting to evaluate how it does work and um, to see how it is comparable to one with Oculus or not. Of course, we're making it work, we make the test with the Vive Focus Plus or like an old hardware, but it will be interesting to understand the, the projections, the possibilities for the future headset by analyzing what we have now. So let's dig into it. Okay, so let's start just uh, having a look at the documentation. So, as I told you, finally, now there is support also for standalone devices for the tracking SDK. So, you see here, Vive Focus, Vive Focus Plus, 17 3D point with ARMV7, 21 with ARMV8. So, the, there is a bit of skeleton tracking, it is quite interesting. Um, Looking at it, it's also noticeable that it can work also with Android phones. So they made uh, the hand tracking algorithm so that it can work also with phones. And this is interesting because HTC makes phones, of course. So um, what's the reason for this? So is it because they plan to implement hand tracking in some of the future interfaces for phones? Is it, I don't know, for the connection of the Vive Cosmos to the phone? Who knows? So it's, it's an interesting thing to, to have a look on because it's probably the only brand doing this, but it's also the only VR brand also making phones. So it is a nice choice. And looking at the Unity plugin, you can see here the, all the documentation. And I've digged into it a bit and you have the usual features, you know, hand striking, you can get the position of the joints of the hands, the pose, the reliability, blah, blah, blah. So this is pretty common. What's interesting is that uh, there are some interesting things. The first one is that uh, you can have gestures. So you can also have not only, you know, the row pose, but also the text and gestures like this one. And also there is like high level feature to detect the the gestures and use it as triggers. So I can show you in this sample project because of course there is a sample Unity project that you can install pretty easily by downloading the SDK. And uh, you can see for instance, here they have a command to switch the hands because you can have skeletal hands, realistic hands, whatever. And here you have the prepare condition, reset conditions, and they are all gestures. So you know, if I want to trigger this, I can use the point gesture. When you do the point gestures, it gets automatically triggered. So it's like high level programming with gestures with the, within the SDK. And so you have various possibilities, having the skeletons, having like the row joints. And what I found really cool, honestly, is the ability to select your hand engine. So you can select your engine, and this means that it's completely, you know, uh, cross-platform in the sense that you can also use your hand striking engine together with that interface for using gestures to trigger stuff. So the thing that you see now that you can do like this gesture and trigger something, of course, relies on the Vive engine to detect the hands, but you can use your engine, I don't know, the mano motion engine, if you can integrate it in the Vive Focus, and then use the high level interaction by Vive and the mano motion to detect the hands. It's 
It's actually completely customizable. You just have to implement this interface and and then you can use your engine with a Vive tracking engine. I love this openness. So this is something really, really cool because it gives you the possibility to open this and like interactions in by way in in all possible ways so you can customize it maybe you can also use you know lip motion with it and um, provided that you can download uh, the android um, sdk that is not public and you it has also been made so there is the wavy hand, hand engine they basically, you know that Vive Wave runs on headsets like IG, Pico, uh, HTC. Uh, it can use the native hand tracking engine of all these headsets and implement it into its uh, Vive Wave hand tracking interaction. So I like that I like these two layers because it makes the this Vive hand tracking stuff super customizable. And then of course our user stuff, 3D hands models, you know. Uh, interaction skeletons, Unity events, blah blah blah. And looking at inside Unity, I also noticed that it's integrated with a Unity XR. So I had to end the Unity XR plugin management. So it is completely, you know, compatible with the latest Unity paradigm for XR. So as a developer, I think that <clears throat> personally, I don't 100% love the the coding style, the interface style in the code by HTC. Uh, I find sometimes a bit convoluted, but I have to say that they they prepare this SDK very well. I think it's it's more or less uh, complete and customizable and offers all the features that you may need when creating an hand tracker application. So, as a developer. I I really like how they are structuring their SDK and the school that is evolving. So I know that the spotlight is not on HTC at the moment, but uh, that's why there's been this improvement and no one noticed it. But actually, it is pretty cool. So as a developer, I think that they're doing well. So now let's try this application and see how the tracking performs on the Focus Plus and if the Focus Plus is already ready for hand tracking or if it is more for future in iteration. Okay, so I built a sample and now I'm inside uh, the sample scene. So let's see how this tracking will perform. So I put my hand in front of my eyes and now let's try closing one finger after one finger okay so opening close both hands rotating completely the hands closing them okay so let's try to put one on top of the other okay so i i hope you have seen it basically what happens is that first of all it's pretty slow, so I see it like I don't even know how many frames per second it is, but it's it's not fluid at all. And then the detection works well with some fingers, so like the thumb and the index is good, but if I try like the pinky, you see what's happening. So it's not super accurate and two hands doesn't work this is like the quid quest uh, hands open close i can say it works so some basic gestures they work like you know two i can make uh like the models appear by making like like and you see now you can see like 3d models but you say that you see that the the detection detection works better if the, my hands are in front of the camera so in this case it is a bit better if i try to move to the edge you can see that the the accuracy is especially up and down is not that good so what in front of my eyes some water so there are also some tricks that i can try like aim 
like this and then I can make like a gesture to make the cube to rise sometimes it works sometimes not okay or uh, I can make the fire like this uh, ooh, then I open and it triggers so what I can say is that on this platform, on the Vive Focus Plus, it doesn't seem very reliable, honestly. So with some basic gestures, it can work like this, like the like. So, you know, you see that the like has been detected pretty well. But uh, the wall engine, especially what I don't like is that the hands sometimes disappear. So it's not super fluid and the hands sometimes they, they disappear. Okay, so now I can show you the fire. Oh, that's good. So probably it has been ported for way for future devices. So like the upcoming, whatever will be the name, let's call it uh, Vive Focus Plus XR2. But for the current device, it seems too heavy, and the frame rate shows it. And probably the the bad accuracy also don't um, because of this, because the, it seems that the engine can't cope with the uh, with the necessary, you know, calculations for the the tracking, and so of course the reliability is not that good. When it works, you can have some interesting results, but then it doesn't work, you know. If you want to use something for interactions, it must be reliable. So probably it should be used more for like simple interactions, basic things, gestures, and wait for the next headset to actually implement this and striking in your application. What's very interesting is that the SDK remains the same and they, they, they can just use like the new device or whatever happens. So final considerations on the hand striking on the Focus Plus. Um, mixed opinion on fine. So on one side, the SDK I think is going up pretty well, especially like it's, it's full of features. It can be customized with your engine. It is integrated with Unity XR. It is compatible with all by wave headsets even with the phone, so that's pretty cool. On the other side, on the current VR device, it is, you know, it's pretty old now, it doesn't work that good. Uh, you have seen that it's slow, it doesn't work with two hands together, and even just one hand, uh, it is not reliable. So it can detect very well some gestures, the basic gestures. So for gesture interactions, you can consider using it, I think. But for full hand striking, you know, hand striking application, whatever, it's good, you know, for experiment for the future Focus Plus. Because when I went to Taiwan speak to HTC, they told me probably it will be ready for the next headset. And I think that's still the master plan. So they're working on the SDK. Of course, they made it compatible with this because, you know, it's, it's vibe wave software so it can work also on the focus plus and it's good that it's made compatible with this but it's not ready for this hardware probably they can wait for you know the next headset will have uh, vibe wave inside in the snapdragon xr choice also there is the ultra gemini ultra leap gemini uh, hand striking so who knows what kind of integrations may happen with the upcoming headset for now, with uh, this device, it is not comparable with the Quest and Striking. With the future one, who knows? I think we'll discover when it will be launched in some months. And of course, I will keep you updated about this.